Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on Godot Auto Tiles. Okay, by the end of this tutorial you will be able to create your own auto tiles that will tile correctly for you. You have edges, you will have different tiles that change shape depending where you are. Like that. Okay, so let's discuss auto tiles and how the system works. In order for your tiles to auto tile correctly, you need to cover these 47 shapes. We have 12 shapes in here, 4 shapes down, so 38 tiles and as you can see one tile is empty in the middle. It doesn't matter what order you lay them out as long as you cover every one of those shapes in the tile. So I can lay them like this in here. I can even lay them like that. This layout comes from the website I have found where I learned about the tiles. In this blog about auto tiling that will be linked in the description. So that's the layout I'm using because I learned how to work with it and I think it's the one of the easiest to follow for everybody. All the links will be in the description so you can you can download them. For now, let's just save this SVG file and import it to Godot. Okay, so in this Godot project, we're going to open a new scene, add a new node, and we're going to add the tile map. In the tile map, we're going to click on new tile set, click it again, and in here using this plus icon, we're going to add new texture to tile set. We're going to be using this auto tile SVG file that I created but you can use any texture PNG or whatever you want. As you can see in here it imported our tiles correctly for us. Let's click new auto tile in here and select the region. On your right hand side in the auto tile we're going to select 3x3 three three minimal because that's the one have to be you have to be using and our tiles are 128 by 128 big. Make sure that your region is snapping using snapping tool in here. Okay, and there are the tiles we're going to be using for our purposes in here. So let's go to bit mask. And all you have to do in a bit mask is to follow the collisions in here. So if you select everything as I selected in the tiles and just copy the bit mask in here, following all them shapes, we'll be able to place them correctly. Okay, so we recreated this shape using the bit mask. If you made a mistake, just right click it and it will remove the bit mask for you. With that, we're going to save this resource in here using the save icon and save us. We're going to call it, say, grass auto tile. And we're going to save it as T-E-T-R-E-S file. Okay, so now when we go to our tile map, we need to select the cell size. We are using 128 by 128 big tile set. So when I press one tile, it drops one drop. If I press two, it connects them. If I press three, it draws this line. So now you have to start drawing the shapes around it. So they actually match correct shapes. So let's go back to our SCV file and start replacing this layout with something that actually resembles the tile set. So I prepared this tile set for us and we're going to be using it slowly. So when I place one tile, I only want to place this one guy in here. So let's get rid of that replace it with our tile. Let's save it. And every time you save, it automatically re-imports to Godot in here. So as you can see, if I place one tile, it's going to draw this one for us. So let's quickly replace the other three. So them three create a column. So I have this column ready here. Let's drag it down and put it here. The same goes for the row. Copy it down, get rid of those three and put it there. Save it and let's see how it works in Godot now. All gets reimported. If I place three tiles next to each other, it will draw the column like this. If I draw it like this, it will draw a column. And if I place one tile, it draws a single tile. So now we have to look at our tiles again and figure it out. So that is a tile that we're going to place only if there is tile to your right and under, underneath. So it's going to be like this corner tile I have in here. So let's get rid of that and replace it over here. If we have tile to left, tile to the right and tile underneath, we're going to place this one. Okay, so I'm going to continue in here. We have now tile to the top, 
tile to the side. Sorry, tile to the top, tile to the bottom, tile to the side, and tile to the side, but no corners. So that's important. Okay, so we replace our shapes in here. Let's see how it works. We're going to save SVG file again. Go to Godot. And now, when we place tile on the top, on the bottom, and to the side, we have this shape. We also have all the corner cases. So this corner, this corner, this corner, and this corner. So far, everything is working as intended. So let's jump again and continue with the shape. So now again, in here when you look, we the tile to the tile to the side, tile to the bottom, tile to the side, tile to the top, and tile to the top left corner. So that's what you have to replace. So just follow them shapes and build your tile set around the shapes until you are satisfied with it. So eventually you're going to replace all the shapes with the tiles you wanted. That's the one I created. And you need to leave one empty tile. So that's going to be placed when there is nothing in there. So when you go back to Godot again, it will re-import. And now you can paint with the tiles the way you want. You can build columns like this. You can add tiles to the side, other side. You can place one on top. And you covered pretty much every possible shape you can make with the tiles in this tile set. If you want to cut the hole in here, it will make it like this. So you can see they will be rearranged to suit whatever you place. So I'm hoping that you understand that basically what you have to do, you have to follow this pattern. Every time you have a tile in the middle, that is the tile you are placing. So like in here, tile in the middle is the tile you're going to be placing. And any tile in the corners around it, in the, in the edges around it, is the tile that is bordering it. So the tile in the middle is only placed when there is a tile next to it and nothing else around it. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Please don't forget to like this video and check my other videos on my channel. I'm running currently a devlog series for my game that I'm making in Godot. So hopefully you will find it useful as well. Take care.